everyone, it's Sophie and I'm so sorry I've been gone for so long, I just need to take a break away from YouTube and I just need to take a break away from everything and now I am back. So today I'm going to be showing you my version of the no makeup makeup look because why not? It's only really now that I'm realising how sunburnt I am, so just ignore my very red arms and shoulders I spent yesterday at the beach, and could you not? Basically I spent yesterday at the beach where I live, I live in a seaside town, and um, when I came back I sat in the sun all day and I've got a very, very, very sore sunburn, so just ignore it, but I do kind of remind myself of that meme with the guy with the two toned arms and the drumstick squashy things. So yeah, this is my take on the no makeup makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. What am I doing? I want to apologise if you can hear any like noises like flying planes because I think there's some training going on because we live in like an airfield. So I think there's some training going on so I apologise for that but there's not really anything I can do about it so... Okay, so I'm just going to start by pulling my hair back. Oh, this is going to be quite a chatty tutorial because I'm still trying to figure out how the microphone works on my laptop, but I just pull it back. It doesn't matter if it looks messy or anything, just as long as your hair is out your face. So I'm going to start by priming, and for this I'm going to use the Benefit Professional. This is a medium size. I got this in the Gellarama 10 for Christmas. I'm so out of shape. All I did was just reach for it, and I'm out of breath. So I'm literally just going to put this where I have really bad pores so on my nose, my chin, top, just the middle of my forehead and on the sides of my cheeks and then I'm just going to rub it in and that will just help to minimise the look of my pores. So normally I would do this anyway but I'm just going to colour correct any of these sunburnt places on my face and I'm just going to use the W7 green colour corrector and yes I did lose the first and I'm just going to apply it with a tapered blending brush. Don't want to put too much that on because it can go a little bit cakey when it's on if you put a little bit too much on then it does go very cakey and then I'm just going to set that with a pressed powder and so I'm going in a bit of a weird order but I want to do my eyebrows next and I'm just going to be using the Freedom Brow Pomade in shade Medium Brown. So as long as you apply this sparingly like you should do with the brow pomade, it won't look too harsh or too, you know, Instagram baddie eyebrows. So you just want to apply a little bit of this and just kind of shape them a little bit more. And I know someone will say something in the comments but I do my eyebrows before my foundation because I'm still getting used to using a brow pomade and if it goes wrong I can just you know wipe it off without having to take off half my foundation. The highlighting I want a sort of subtle sheen so I'm just going to be using my mini Benefit Gamete Pearl just on the tops of my cheeks and down the bridge of my nose just to give a little sheen whilst the foundation is on. I still really hate the smell of this and I don't know why. I've just never liked the smell of that. And this will take up the colour correction a little bit, but yeah, don't worry. It's gonna get covered up by the foundation anyway. Once the liquid highlights is dry, it's time to go with the foundation. Now I'm gonna be taking the Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade, I can barely read this, G. 010 Light Porcelain. And seriously, I am not joking when I say this is the only foundation I can find that actually is a perfect match for me because I am so over with too much in there. I am so pale. Oh my god. Now I'm just going to blend it in with my Zoe Bear Rose Girl 125 Stick Light Brush. the face, I'm just going to take my raw wig up to zero under my eyes and down my nose. I'm 
just make sure that everything is completely seamless and there are no streaks. I'm just going to take this flat top foundation brush that I got off eBay and I'm just going to buff it. So to set everything I'm taking my Real Match Perfection Loose Face Powder in shade 001 Transparent and my Made You Look Powder Brush I'm just going to dust some powder all over my face. So we're going to be skipping out highlight and contour and I'm just going to be dipping into my Benefit Real Cheeky Party Tin and taking the Sugar Bomb Shakes. It just gives a nice sort of sheen to the cheeks and don't let me I'm just see if my boyfriend's messing me back yet because I'm just taking, just squaring that all together and I'm just taking it on a rose tin brush and applying it to Now I'm just going back to my eyebrows and just taking my Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3 and I'm just going to be running this through my eyebrows, smitten a little bit modifying and help to get rid of some of the foundation and powder that's now sitting in the brow pomade on my eyebrows. I'm just going to go in with mascara and I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Deforces Brush of Angel. This is such a weird brush. It's so weirdly angled, but I actually really like it. It's very natural, very fluttering, with really nice lifting volume to the eyelashes. You know when you chuck your eyelash curls on the floor and they look like you're about to attack something? Yeah, same. on the bottom lashes as well because I feel like it looks a bit weird with just mascara on the top lash I don't know why I was doing this and my sunburn is really starting to hurt and I'm going to feel like half bottled after some and then is this what happens when I don't have breakfast? And finally it's time for the lips, so I have a choice of three lip colours here, you can either use one of the Benefit Tints, so either the Benetton or Posey Tint, or what I like the best for more of a natural look, or if you wanted to wear lipstick you could wear MAC, one of, you know, I don't know where I'm going with this, or I have the choice of the MAC Velvet Teddy Lipstick, but I think I'm going to use the Posey Tint today, or the Benetton. I think I'm going to go for the Benetton, and when I say this, it's so hard to not say Benetton. F1 fans, you get me. I absolutely love this look just for everyday wear. Sometimes I won't include the foundation, just when I want to let my skin breathe a little bit. So. It's just really nice for an everyday sort of going out look and I just absolutely love it, it's so natural and I'm trying to talk like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed, if you did then leave a big thumbs up, comment out some video ideas because I really want to do a hair care routine but I'm getting my hair bleached and dyed blue soon so I think I'll do it after that because my hair care routine is going to change drastically using you know more moisturising products and yeah just comment down some video ideas because i want to do some more tags i want to you know do maybe a look through my spotify playlist on my diesel playlist and stuff like that so what am i doing remember to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell love you all so so much and i'll see you in the next video bye guys stay weird <laughs>